what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here some huge breaking news today in regards to the future of the halloween franchise we are going to be getting two sequels back to back uh halloween kills which will be coming out next year on october 16th in 2020 and then halloween ends on october 15th in 2021 now i'll say right off the bat i hope these are not the official titles that they're going to keep the entire time uh, I hope these are just the titles for the sake of announcements. These titles don't really do anything for me. I mean, Halloween Ends is fine, but Halloween Kills, that doesn't... Not, they're, they're not that... And it's, that, it's really not that shocking. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to be that upset about the titles because they've done so many Halloween movies. I mean, what else could you really call these movies at this point? They've done so many sequels to the original that it's ridiculous. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is going to be back. John Carpenter, everybody, they've tweeted out this stuff. Jason Blum gave the announcement. I think this was made official out at San Diego Comic-Con or it was probably done just on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of those two. This is just huge breaking news, and I'm really excited that this is happening. I recently, or not recently, but last week, uh, Nick Castle said he had news for the fans in regards to what John Carpenter just told him that he was going to disclose at an event he was at that weekend. He did not do that. I'm assuming that's because they wanted to save the news for this weekend during the Comic-Con craze and all that good stuff to bring more attention to it. Uh, I don't think Blumhouse had a panel at Comic-Con. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I don't think they had a panel this year at the San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, I'm really, I'm not necessarily excited that we're getting more sequels as I am excited to see what they are going to do. Because I do love the character of Michael Myers. Uh, I could do without these two sequels, but I am excited at the thought that not only are these two back-to-back -back sequels, but... They're being done by the same creative team, apparently. David Gordon Green is back to direct. David Gordon Green, uh, Danny McBride, and Stephen Team will actually be. Or I think that's the gentleman who uh, reports came out earlier this year saying he was pinning a treatment for a Halloween sequel. Uh, all three of them will be working together on this new script. So Danny McBride and David Gordon Green, they were a nice combination for this 2018 film that we just got. It was a huge success. Uh, I think they can tone it down a bit as far as like the comedy is concerned. Maybe just have some instances where it's not just a burst out laughing moment as opposed to just something that would crack a few chuckles here and there. Uh, I think Teen, this new edition of Teen, he might be, I'm interested to see what he does, what he brings to the table, how all three of them can blend, this, blend these two sequels together. Uh, I do not think that Danielle Harris will be back. I've seen her say she has some interest in coming back to the franchise. Uh, this is only going to heighten her interest more than likely. Uh, I, I don't think she'll say anything. She might say something in the future, but I don't expect her to say anything regarding these projects. If she does come back, she won't be in the role that uh, I think many of us are familiar with seeing her in. I'm not necessarily all that thrilled about, again, them giving us these two sequels as much as I am just to see what is going to happen how are they going to wrap this story up because the other one's called halloween ends so that already tells you that in halloween kills michael myers is going to somehow either escape or that's what that's what we're led to assume michael My myers he's, he's going to die in one of these movies that's pretty much a guarantee even if he doesn't die halloween ends sounds like a like a like a conclusion like i'm finally getting what i want i wanted this series to end for so long and I hope it ends properly. And I do believe this is the first trilogy that we have to the original film. Yes, we have the Thorn trilogy, but the Thorn trilogy is a trilogy to the first two movies, not solely the first movie. Uh, I'm really just interested to see how they can wrap this up, even though I could live without them even doing these two more sequels. I do not, I still do not feel a sequel to the 2018 film is necessary, but if it's getting made, it has my interest. Uh, I love Michael Myers. I'm looking forward to see what they do. I'm glad this is the same creative team behind the process of these two movies because I feel like that was one of the biggest detractions from the franchise. They had all these people coming in and constantly making their own spin on the franchise, adding their own style, adding their own flavor. Each movie felt different. And while that can be, yes, refreshing, and it doesn't feel like you're watching the same movie over and over, it also is It also is shown to be a hindrance because these people are just writing things off the fly and they're leaving things for other people to pick up on. That's what led to the countless reboots. That's what led us to where we are now. So I like to see that consistency. I like to see that consistency with films. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think about the news down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to these two Halloween movies? Are you excited? Are you not? What do you think about all this? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.